Well, that was a fail because my phone died. And I was so excited because I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like sit answering great questions and talking about great things. I'll post this to my page. And then, <laughs> no. See? Um, me and technology. It doesn't work very well. No, it was not your Wi-Fi. It was my phone. Would I go on Hot Ones again? Um, in a heartbeat. <sighs> this is probably gonna fall. Makeshift. Um, I love hot sauce. And they did vegan wings for me, and they were so delicious. I really liked it. Even though I got so itchy because the last ones were really hot, and my body went into like shock, and I could not stop shaking. It was, um, it was really weird. <laughs> I don't know how to cook. <laughs> no! Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a good cook. I, like, cook to survive when I have to. But I'd rather go to a restaurant. <laughs> How's my family? You're wishing Mama G happy birthday, thanks! Um, yeah, it's her birthday tomorrow! It's very exciting. Someone said something, and I don't know what it was in the book. Do I put my own outfits together? Yeah, I do. It's fun putting outfits together. Because you can, like, find pieces that you love and create new, like, characters for yourself with them. I look like that girl on that 70s show. Yep, I know. I heard. How's Ashley? She's good. I was with her last night for Friendsgiving. She's so cute. Her dog Ziggy and Darla are best friends. It's really sweet. And they just run around in circles and chase each other. And they love it. <laughs> My dog is great. <laughs> there she is. You're good, babe. I love you. Say hi, Belen. <laughs> mm, I love Brazil. Do I get tired of being called beautiful? That's funny. Um, no. Would you? Do you? Um, Will Smith is amazing. He's like a burst of energy when he walks onto the set, and he's so sweet and just incredible to watch. And he was like giving me points on how to look like a badass, which was dope. <laughs> Do I eat adobo? I would eat like. I used to eat adobo when I ate meat. I used to love chicken adobo. Um, I'd be so good at Nicholas Parks movie. That's amazing. I love it. Um, Bad Boys, I'm really excited for it. Um, uh, it's going to be great. I think that it's going to be really good. Um, someone asked, uh, how do I like working with Lin-Manuel Miranda? And I mean... He's like everything that you want him to be and more. He's like the kindest, sweetest human being and just makes you feel special no matter who you are. Um, he's amazing. What did it feel like when you cut off all your hair? Well, fun fact, I never cut it, really. I mean, the longest my hair has been naturally was during High School Musical 2. It was probably like there maybe my hair is probably like there now i'm trying to grow it out um but i've just always had extensions like i got my first set of extensions when i was 15 um before that i think i had i had long hair when i was like 12 to there and it was so beautiful so i am on a mission to get it long
I'm talking about tickle a bunch of times. It makes no sense. <laughs> Hi. What kind of food, typical of Christmas, do you like? Um, I don't know. I'm not like a dessert person. So desserts don't really do anything for me. But what I do love is some sweet yams with some marshmallows on top. Because that stuff is amazing. Secret for curls. Um... What is my secret for curls? Uh, just hydrate your hair. I tend, because I really fine hair, I tend to condition my hair and then wash it because if I wash and then condition, my hair's too heavy. Um, so I do that and just the little serum. It doesn't really matter what kind of serum. Um, hi, Jamie. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't really have a secret. I'm sorry. Scrunch it. Twist it. Twirl it in sections. And then let that dry and then piece it out. There's a good secret. Um, I have not been to Chile. Um, I would love to go. Have I been to Chile? Favorite artist right now? Do I wear sketchers? <laughs> Time is performing my music. Um, I saw a video of an interview that I did right after I performed at like Kiss Jingle Ball. I was probably, oh my gosh, 17 or something. And it was so funny because who was interviewing me? I forget his name. I'm sorry if you see this being interviewed and he was like where does this this come from like are you enjoying performing and I was like I love performing oh my gosh my 16 year old self is so cringeworthy um <laughs> but I'm like it's just really fun to get up there on the stage and just like feel free and sexy and he was like where where does that come from I was like oh you know it's just a little bit of Vanessa <laughs> um I don't think I would enjoy performing those songs as much now, um, just because my taste in music is so different. I love performing. I would gladly sing you a cover album of In Rainbows by Radiohead any day. <laughs> um, and maybe if someone got me like drunk enough, I would sing Sneaker Night. Favorite Disney movie? Ooh, that's a hard one because they're so good. I feel like the one that I watched the most that I remember is Finding Nemo. When I was 16, I would watch it and fall asleep to it and wake up to it. And it was just my favorite. It's scuppy. Favorite fast food? I hate fast food. I'm sorry, that was aggressive. It was not aggressive. It's just it's a very quick answer. Um, yeah, I don't eat meat, so I can't really do burgers. I'm into an impossible burger, but sometimes it's like upsetting for the stomach. Um, favorite fragrance? Mm, I love Mesa Margiela. Like, all of the scents. And I love Le Labo. I love a few of those scents. Favorite Disney princess is probably Jasmine. Cause she has a pet tiger and she flies on a magic carpet ride and she sings a whole new world and is so beautiful and sexy. I don't eat meat. I eat fish, but I don't eat meat. I wasn't planning on it, but I saw a, a video called If Slaughterhouses Had Glass Walls that um, Paul McCartney did. And yeah, I haven't been able to eat meat since. 
And I did see the new Aladdin. I was in nostalgia heaven. Hi, Lauren. Any new projects coming soon? Yeah, um, I have a movie coming out on Netflix on the 21st, which is just a few days away to spark off your holiday spirit and season called The Night Before Christmas. Um, it's really good, and it's really funny, and it's really sweet, and I hope you guys like it. And then Bad Boys coming out in January, which is really exciting. Yeah, Beyond Meat is really good, but every now and then, you can mess up your tummy. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm really hungry right now. Hi, Courtney! <laughs> A favorite Netflix series to watch that I watch? Um, hmm. I do love myself some American Horror Story. I just binge watched The Politician. Go to coffee order. Uh, New Orleans with oat milk. Oat milk. New Orleans. New Orleans. I don't know. With oat milk from Blue Bottle. Mmm. It's delicious. I just got really dark really quick. So I watch Rick and Morty. I have watched some Rick and Morty, and it's hilarious and really aggressive at times. <laughs> I also love Big Mouth. It's um, it's a great one if anyone hasn't seen it. My favorite sport to watch or to do. I don't really do sports. I'm not necessarily the sportiest. I love fitness. Favorite movie I've done so far? Um, it's so hard. It's like picking a favorite child. I'm assuming because I don't have any children. Um, but I don't know. It's hard to say. Sorry, that's a crappy answer. Favorite vacation spot? <sighs> Anywhere that doesn't have cell phone reception. And like really beautiful landscaping. <laughs> mm, I love jungles. And I love ocean. Love I love lamp. <laughs> mm. Dogs are better than babies. Do I agree? I don't know. I don't have a baby. Babies are a lot of work, though. Are they? I mean, just from what I've seen. I um, I love Darla, though. Am I originally from L.A. or another city? I was born in another city. I was born in Salinas. Um, I moved around a lot. But California, born and raised. I do have a skincare routine. And aggressive. Where did I go before? I was at a press junket today. Which is why I have a full face of makeup on. Um, do you have any regrets in life? <laughs> um, I mean, I'd like to say no. Like, I think that all of our mistakes and all of our wins shape us into who we are. Um, and I think it's important to have lows as well as highs to understand who you are. If you're put through situations, then you're forced to act out of your own character. Um, but the only way to learn your character is to be put into those situations. So, no, no regrets. Do I ever plan on going back to Broadway? Yes, a zillion percent. I love Broadway so much. Um, it just requires time because it's not like a, a movie where you can bang it out in a month. It's like at least a six-month commitment. 
which is fun and I'm totally into it, but I just don't have time for that right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sweet life throwback. Juju was so much fun. What's my favorite movie? And yes, Will Smith is as cool as he seems on his Instagram. Um, that's so hard. Um, I love The Nightmare Before Christmas. I feel like I've probably seen that movie more times than I've seen any other movie ever. Broadway movies or TV shows? What is my favorite? Mm. I don't know. It's hard. They're all very different, but I do love being on the stage. I think just because I grew up doing theater, um, so when I'm on stage, I feel like I am home. It's just um, it's the most fun because you get to interact with the audience. Could you please watch the trailer to your series? Yes, I will watch your trailer. I watch your trailer. Yolo or Yala? What is Yala? I don't know slang. What is your favorite Halloween movie? A uh, Nightmare Before Christmas. I love Scream. I love um, Adam's Family. I love Hocus Pocus. I love um, Sleepy Hollow. There's a lot. I love them all. Is the HM series, HSM series, gonna be on Apple, like, channel? Like, not Apple channel, Disney channel, or on Apple TV? Because I don't have Apple TV. Am I interested in cars? Yeah, why, you wanna give me one? <laughs> um, I really wanna buy an old car. Really want to cruise around in an old Mercedes convertible with the top down and like a scarf around my neck, just cruising. That would be really cute. I'm very into that. My favorite Marvel movie. Oh gosh, I have no idea. Is Joker a Marvel movie? No, that's DC. <laughs> Whoop. What do make you happy? Someone said. What do make you happy? What makes me happy? Um, my family and my friends and my dog and wine and dancing and fires. Not like wildfires, but like a fireplace. They're so hypnotizing. What inspired me to act? Um, I... I have just always loved it. I started doing musical theater when I was like six. And I I watched West Side Story probably when I was like five and just fell in love with with musicals and Natalie Wood and I was like, Mm, that's that's special. I think I wanna do that. Giddy up. Someone said to say that. Y'all are funny. <laughs> Favorite production you've been in? Um, no, no, no. That's hard. I mean, I loved doing Grace because it was my first, like, live musical, televised musical. Um, and. It was just like uh, really, really magical and like so crazy because we would like film a scene and then literally run to a golf cart, be taken to another stage, run to the changing room, do a quick change and run out and like do a scene and then continue to do that for the entire show. So it was just kind of crazy. Um, and the fact that it all came together and worked is like a miracle. What's my favorite wine? Oh. Um, I love so many. It depends on the weather. It depends on the time of day. 
I love like a really interesting red. Um, and that can be so many different things. I feel like I first fell in love with the Cabernet Sauvignon and then moved on to just exploring the world of wine. There's so many different kinds of wine. The hardest role I've played. Ooh, that's a great question. Thanks. Um, probably in Give Me Shelter. Um, cause I, I was looking for a transformative role, like something that I could completely change myself for. And I read that script and I was like, ooh, that's really special. And I met with the director and he was talking about how he wanted to like completely transform me as well. And I was like, I am here for all of that. So I put on like 20 pounds, which is a lot on me because I'm five, two, five, three. I don't know. Um, and I chopped off all my hair and I lived in a pregnant homeless shelter for women for a few weeks before we started filming and I loved it. I got to know the girls that were there. Um, I like helped in their chores. Um, I, I just kind of like fell in love with them. Just a transformation. And also like being able to tell a story of women whose stories you might not hear. Um, so it was like really, really special for me. But afterwards, I came back home and I did not know who I was anymore because I was so engulfed in playing this other person that I, um, I had to find myself again. And I got this tattoo, which is an ohm because I went to a yoga um, retreat in Hawaii. Um, and I was with my girlfriend, Ashley Chesdale, Ashley French now, and she wanted to go and get a tattoo. So I was like, I'll come with you. And I got that. Thought about college. I think it's great if you think that it's going to help you get to the place that you want to be. Um, I did not like school. Um, I had no intentions on going to college, but that's just me. Everyone's journey is different. I only have two tattoos. Um, this one and my butterfly. I would get so many more if I wasn't an actress. The process of having to cover up your tattoos because it's like, it doesn't always, something is poking me. It doesn't always work for the character so you have to cover it up and covering up a tattoo, oof, it's just not a lot of fun. Are you a homebody or a, or a what, or a what, or a good time kind of gal? I think I'm both, okay? I like being at home. I love sitting, being cozy, wearing my sweatpants, watching Netflix with a glass of wine. But every now and then, like, I love dancing. I love, like, going to somewhere that is actually playing great music. I don't like clubs. Kind of sick. But I love dancing. Yes, this is my library. <laughs> I have the lights on really bright though and it looks better if I dim the lighting any character you'd love to transform into again um I don't know I feel like once uh, I've played a character I've done it and then I move forward except I'm about to go off and do a sequel for Princess Switch so I'm about to be British again, which I need to work on. That's what I should be doing right now. No offense, love you guys, but. Is Darla still? Oh, yep, Tar. She's out, she's not gonna pay any attention. What do I want for Christmas? I wanna be home and I wanna relax and I want to do nothing and I wanna cuddle and I wanna drink wine. <laughs> I think I'm hungry. Maybe I should go eat. How much do I love Austin? So much. <laughs> hey, Scott. My favorite book. That's hard. I don't need knock-knock jokes. Mm. 
I am about to do another musical movie. I'm about to do Tick, Tick, Boom, which was written originally by Jonathan Larson, who also wrote Rent. Um, and it's so good. I'm so excited to start just singing every day. Um, I do deserve a vacation. What do you want to eat right now? Probably going to go and go to this spot that I go to all the time and eat focaccia with, what is it, like burrata and tomatoes and a salad and wine and maybe salmon. That sounds like a lot. I don't know. <laughs> hmm. I don't have a wine fridge yet. I need to get it. I have a spot for it. I just need to get it. It would be great though. I really need one and I really want one. Hi everybody. I am hungry. I'm gonna go. I adore you guys. Thank you for hanging. I do love Mulan. My sister Stella loves Mulan. Um, yeah, it's a great. I used to always sing Reflection. Whenever I had an audition, I would sing Reflection from Mulan. Okay, I'm gonna go. I love you guys. I hope you have an amazing night. If you are 21, have a glass of wine for me. I'll catch you soon. Bye.